guys, so um, if you're actually watching this, I'm actually on the road now. So I had to do this YouTube video um, a few days before. Well, the day before. A few days because this is Thursday. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I want to talk to you guys about, I get a lot of questions on Instagram and just the general questions on my blog about um, Steph, it's taking too long. Steph, I'm at a plateau. Steph, I, I don't, I'm getting restless and... I just want you guys to know, I've been there, every single one. Everything you've experienced, I've experienced, and I'm going through it, too. There's days where I just want to say, I don't want to track. Get tracking, man. Orle, vato. That's how I, I feel all thug when I say that. But then I remember, if I don't track, I'm going to feel like crap. If I don't track, guess what? I'm going to feel like crap, and then I'm going to feel bad, and then I'm going to regret it, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, I feel like I'm 264 pounds again. And then I'm like, okay, Stephanie. Um, just get back in the game. Trust me, sometimes I don't want to track. Then there's times where I'm at a plateau, and then here's my little secret. But don't do this. Really, if you really don't want to do this, don't. I'm not advising this. Don't try this at home unless you really want to. But don't blame me if you gain weight when you do this. Because what works for me probably won't work for you. Or may or may not. I don't know. But again, don't blame me for your weight gain. <laughs> um, I once read Jenna Jackson's trainer lets her have a cheat day. And um, it stuck with me. Three years ago, it really did stick with me. And I've had a cheat day. <laughs> And that has broken my plateau, like, and I love cheat days. I eat the food I really, 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 really want, and I don't feel one ounce of guilt, and then my plateau is like, yeah. That's me, though, because I guess it boosts your metabolism, and it just is like, hey, let's switch things up. And um, so, yeah, I've done that with plateaus. Now, about giving up, this is what I really want to do the vlog about. Don't give up. Again, you're going to want to throw in the towel. Forget points. Forget calories, man. Orale, vato. Otra vez. But don't. Do it for a day. Go ahead. Sure. But get back on track. I know you want instant gratification. No, no, no. It took you so many years to gain the weight. Guess what? It's going to take you a while to lose it. I mean, you're not going to lose it one day and be like, hey, I'm skinny. I got the body of Kim Kardashian or J-Lo. Because I'd rather have J-Lo's body, actually. And, you know, that's not going to happen. you got to work your ass off for it. you got to put time in. When you put time into things, guess what? You get rewards. There's the days where I'm sitting at the gym in front of it, in my car, and I'm like, you know what, Jim? I hate you. And then I'm like, you know, I'm going to do this. And I huff and puff all the way in there, and I walk in with a big, no, oh, I hate this. Then I get going, then I'm doing it, then I'm like, uh, doing my weights, then I'm like, ah, oh, it feels so good, and it feels good, going to the gym can't hurt you, for reals, it can't, it, what, I mean, it's not gonna make you diabetic, so, um, don't give up, you, it's all mental, remember, losing weight is a mental game within you, it's like, you can't do it, yes you can, you can't do it, yes you can, and guess what? You are going to say, you know what, I can't do this. I'm going to beat you up, negativity in my head. And you got to push those, those, those days. you got to psych yourself out. I'm going to do this. Guess what, because I'm the best. Literally, I have done that. I'm like, I'm the best. I got this. Then I go and I kick ass, and then I'm like, yeah, I tracked today. I went to the gym. And what would you do? And I've told that to my brother before. What would you do? Sit on the couch, which he has. And I'm like, yeah, I beat you. I lapped you. I feel all thug when I get done with my stuff. And that's what you have to do. You have to psych yourself out. You have to tell yourself, I can do this. I got this. This is easy peasy, man. Even though it's not, you just got to tell yourself it's easy peasy. Remember, there's you got to take risks to get rewards. And you got to be able to be strong and have willpower. Do you want the donut that's going to be, like, 10 points? Or do you want a crisp, like, what is it? Like, a piece of toast that's, like, two. That's a more better analogy. 10 points, 2 points. 10 points, 2 points. I mean, 
you always have to say, is it worth it? Eat it. If it's worth it, eat it. If you're thinking, I really don't want that, don't eat it. If you have to say, I'm not, no, no. That doesn't turn me on. And food has to turn you on. You have to be craving it. You have to be wanting it to eat it. If you don't, guess what? It's going to take, you're going to feel horrible about it. Like, I can eat pizza, but I will not just eat any pizza. If I look at a pizza and it just looks godly to me, I will be like, I'm going to eat that. But if I look at a flimsy little slice, I'd be like, nah, that's not even worth it, dude. Not even worth it. Is it worth it? Is investing in yourself worth it? Don't give up on yourself. When you don't give up on yourself, others are not going to give up on you. When you love yourself, others are going to love you. Keep on keeping on. You got this. You got this. Keep on keeping on.